Emma has this dress. No. Neither. I feel like Harry Potter. Too librarian. Too Bono? No. 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 Big no. Yes. I look a little bit like a bumblebee. How long you been in these parts? Bleh. If sadness had a color. I bought this? Your Honor, I object. Hmm? No. This is so much like my dad. That is the ticket.
Support for KQED Live comes from Berkeley Rep and the San Francisco Symphony. impact of more COVID. than half of black business owners and disproportionate somehow we always find a way to rise to the blueprint builders to the backbones of every block for the curators of the culture and for generations to follow you might fall but never fail keep rising keep rising keep rising apply for business marketing and tech makeovers on us All right, all right, all right, everybody. Welcome to KQED tonight. We are going to have a really fun show for you tonight. Um, uh, it's, we're watching rehearsals. It's going to be great. My name is Gabe Moline. Um, I'm the senior editor for KQED Arts and Culture here at KQED. And first things first, if you didn't see it up on that screen already, we have a quiz that's sponsored by Comcast. It's going to help us choose contestants to come on stage tonight and compete in Bay Area Hip Hop Game Night. Um, so if you haven't taken it yet, use your phone, scan that QR code uh, to take a minute, do that now, um, and we will pick three of the top quiz winners at random to win and come up here and compete with our other contestants. Um, for those of you joining us for the first time, KQED is Northern California's PBS and NPR member station. KQED Live is our new multi-platform events program. We produce screenings, talks, performances, food tastings, all of this based on KQED's mission to inform, inspire, and involve. You can learn more about KQED Live at kqed.org slash live. Now, if KQED brings value to your everyday life, and I know we do, I encourage you to consider donating and becoming a KQED member. Uh, you can find out about that at kqed.org slash donate. Uh, we want to thank the season sponsors that make KQED Live possible. That is SF MoMA, Berkeley Rep, Comcast Business, and the San Francisco Symphony, which I think last month did a hip-hop event. Uh, this night is part of That's My Word, which is KQED's year-long series on Bay Area hip-hop history. Who here tonight loves Bay Area hip-hop? <laughs> It is so special. Bay Area hip hop is multicultural. It's flamboyant. It doesn't ask for permission. It's the products of pimps and hustlers just as much yeah. as academics and activists. Uh, it has also been completely overlooked, uh, which is why we have spent this year, the entire year, chronicling it at events like this, with feature stories, with artist interviews, We've had a video series called What's Pimpin'. We've had a podcast series called Hyphy Kids Got Trauma. Shout out Pendarvis Harshaw's pen here. <laughs> pen here anyway. Um, and we have a massive timeline, a historical timeline of events online. You can find it at bayareahiphop.com. That's, that's my word at bayareahiphop.com. Pen might be throwing things at you uh, pretty here soon. <laughs> pen, what do you got? That's my word, t-shirts. Anyone want a free t-shirt from Penn? All right, check them out. We got, these are, these are hip hop friendly XL and double XL. All right, the t-shirt cannon, okay. All right, go get dressed in your stomper outfit. Um, okay, judges up in the booth, do we have a winner for the quiz? Yes, we have three winners, so. When your name is called tonight, come up on stage with the other contestants. The three top winners of this quiz are Marcus, you here? Yeah. Marcus is here. All right. Ere? Ere. Okay, in the back, in the back. And Jam One, you here? Jam One? Hey, okay, we got Jam One on the aisle. All right, so. Uh, when your names are called, come up here and uh, join the contestant panel. Okay, tonight's host is Trackademics. This dude, I don't know where to start. This dude has produced for Kamaya, he's produced for Lyrics Born, he's produced for I Am Sue. Yeah. You heard that Tell Me When To Go remix? Yeah. That was Trackademics. Um, 
Bay Area hip hop runs in this guy's blood. He is a bit of a hyphy historian himself, and we are proud to have him as our personal Alex Trebek tonight. So, give it up, coming to the stage, Trackademics. Have a good time, everybody. What's up, everybody? Ooh, we got two microphones. Hold on. This is good. Hold on. Hold on one second. Someone want to come grab this other microphone? Yeah. Anyway, check it out. Welcome to That's My Word Bay Area Hip Hop Trivia Night. How y'all feeling tonight? Good, good, good. All right, my name is Trackademics, Cool Collar Scholar. I represent Alameda. You know what I'm saying? Honor Roll Crew. That's my crew. All right, y'all. Uh, so... Let me do a little temperature check real quick. Uh, how many fans of like 2000s hip hop do we have out here? All right, so we got some, hy some hyphy kids and snap movement, all that. All right, how, how, many, how many folks are fans of like 90s hip hop? Okay. All right, I think I know where I'm at. We got Golden Era, we got the, the, mob, the mob sound. All right. Um, who is a fan of 80s hip hop. Okay. Okay, I call it the prehistoric hip hop heads, the OGs. <laughs> right? All right, cool. So, we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. Uh, we're going through five rounds of our competition tonight, and contestants will be competing for an Amoeba gift card. So, I know we got music heads in here. That's worth gold. That's how I spent all my money back in the day when I was a kid. <laughs> but, um, all right, so. Audience, are you, are you good? Are you ready for this? Yeah. All right, now, now I know that we have a lot of folks in here who are rap music fans, music heads, Bay Area aficionados, and when I'm going through this, you're gonna know the answers, and that's great. You can cheer as loud as you want for your contestants, but make sure you do not yell out the answers, right? Don't yell out the answers. I may... I may prompt you, I may ask, you know, because there may be a time when they don't get it. I, and I, if then, I'll have you yell it out. But otherwise, don't yell out the answers, all right? Good? Okay, we agree. Perfect. All right. So can I get my first round one contestants up here? Uh, Emily. All right. Come to the stage. Uh, DJ Madre. Come to the stage. All right. Perfect. And Eric. Come to the stage. Yeah, you can go on around here. Go this way, Eric. Perfect. Go ahead and take a seat. All right. All right. I see some hip hop in the house. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think this is going to be a stiff competition. She <laughs> All right. All right, perfect. Okay. Contestants, um, please state your name, uh, where you're from, and who your favorite Bay Area rapper is. All right, so we're gonna start on this and state your name, your uh, where you're from, and who's your favorite Bay Area rapper. Okay, what's up? My name is Emily. I am from Piedmont, California. You can hate. You can hey. hate. Probably hey. the highest child from Piedmont that exists. Um, and my favorite Bay rapper, I, okay, I'm going to say my favorite Bay rap group was probably the Federation. Yeah, that, I went so crazy for them, yeah. Dope. All right, DJ Madre. Hi, I'm DJ Madre. I grew up in San Jose, but I've been in San Francisco for 26 years. I can't answer that. That's impossible for me, but I'll say on my shirt, Shock G, rest in peace. Uh, Do What You Like was my first maxi cassette single in 1988, and uh, I will rep that today. Uh, good choice. All right. My name is Eric. Uh, I'm from East Bay, Concord. And uh, you know I got to go with Mac Dre. Okay. All right, we got a good spread up here. We got a good spread of eras, you know, specialties. I think this is going to bode well for us for this first round. All right, so audience, are y'all ready? Yeah. Right, contestants, are y'all ready? All right, let's go ahead and get it. Round one. Okay, so before, before I start, let me tell you the rules. So each round, or round one is going to have 10 questions. This is our trivia round. 
uh, one of our trivia rounds. We're going to have 10 questions. Uh, you're going to have 10 seconds to answer these questions on your whiteboard. You're going to write it. And then after that 10 seconds, you're going to hear a sound. Booth, can you play the sound? Almost. Oh, we got that. So that's your 10 seconds ticking down. And then uh, at the end of that, bam. Um, after that, you're going to reveal your answers to the audience. So I'll see them, make sure the audience can see, and we will figure out who won or who got the point. And each of these are worth uh, one point, all right? All right, are we ready? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, round one. Question number one. San Quinn, Messi Marv, RBL Posse, and Andre Nicotina all hail from which city? Audience. Oh. Okay. Oh, we got some overachievers. <laughs> Technically now. <laughs> Perfect. All right. So we have San Francisco. You say Mir? Here. Here. <laughs> SFC. All right. Okay, here. And what, what city is that? Hey, you never know. You never know. All right. I'll let the judges, uh, I'll let the judges uh, figure that one out. It sounds right to me. Uh, all right. The co correct answer is San Francisco, SFC, the sucker free, Frisco, you know what I'm saying? Where we don't smoke that bammer. Oh, we got an educated audience. Perfect. <laughs> all right. Question number two. MC Hammer worked once as an unofficial bat boy for which Bay Area team? A, the Oakland A's, B, the San Jose Sharks, C, the San Francisco Giants, or D, the Oakland Raiders? All right. Wait till the, wait till the buzzer to reveal so we can... I mean, we're, we're here now, so... Bam. Yeah, yeah. I see a lot of... I see some straight A's on here, so... Uh, I believe that is the correct answer, the Oakland A's. All right. Yeah, wait for the buzzer. All right. So, fun fact... MC Hammer, before he was MC Hammer, his name was Stanley Burrell. Is Stanley Burrell, and he was uh, a bat boy for the Oakland A's, and he got his name because they thought he looked like Hammer and Hank Aaron. So, yeah, that was really interesting. All right, question number three. Mac Dre's first big song came out in 1989. What was it called? A, Never Seen, B, Dradio, C, Too Hard for the Fucking Radio, D, Boss Tycoon. For the suspense. All right, reveal your answers. Okay, we have a bunch of C's in line. Too hard for the fucking radio. This is a very tight race. You're right. That is the correct answer. All right. So crazy. Shout out to Mac Dre. The, there's that actually came out on Strictly Business Records back in '89, and actually there's still a video of him on YouTube performing that at Hogan High. I, I watched it. It's crazy. I was like, dang, he had it, he had it back then. But uh, all right, question number four. Which iconic rapper got his start as a roadie and backup dancer for Digital Underground? A, Shock G, B, Tupac, C, Mac Dre, D, Too Short. I love this. <laughs> Almost. All right. Reveal your answers, please. Okay, so we have B, Tupac, Tupac, and A. So I see two correct answers up here. The answer is Tupac, all right? Shout out to Pac, yes. So Pac got his start as a dancer and roadie for Digital Underground. He first appeared on Digital Underground's same song um, from 91. And my favorite, my favorite piece of trivia about that song is that Digital Underground fully pulled up and showed out in the movie Nothing But Trouble with Dan Aykroyd, Demi Moore, uh, John Candy. And it's a wild movie. You've never seen it. But uh, check it out. Um, all right. Question number five. Boots Riley of The Coup directed which hit TV series? A, Sorry to Bother You, B, I'm a Virgo, C, Blind Spotty, or D, Earth Mama? All right, answers please. Okay, B, I'm a Virgo, B, I'm a Virgo, and A, sorry to bother you. Okay, so Boots had something to do with all of these, but I see two correct answers up here. 
Uh, B, I'm a Virgo. All right, that is the answer. All right, so yeah. If you haven't seen I'm a Virgo, it's streaming on Amazon Prime. You know, it's about a giant. It's got superheroes in it. And it's wild because it's about anti-capitalist revolution in Oakland. You know, so, it's so town. Uh, but yeah, shout out to Boots. And also, I was in South by Southwest and saw him uh, pull up in a pink Cadillac uh, to the premiere of it. It was crazy. It was wild. <laughs> but um, all right. Number six. All right. This female MC is best known for her answer to Two Shorts' freaky tales. Who is she? A, Marvelous. B, Special One. C, Kamaya D. Kimmy Fresh. All right, answers, please. Okay, so we have D. We have uh, D. Kimmy Fresh. We have the special one. And we have A. Marvelous. Ooh, okay. Well, the plot thickens. Let's go. So the answer, I see one correct answer. The answer is... D, Kimmy Fresh. All right. Cool. Okay. All right. So, yeah. We're over here. The answer is D, Kimmy Fresh. And uh, oh, I know we got, it's, it's a lot of suspense going on. So, D, Kimmy Fresh, uh, she dropped the real Freaky Tales, the girl story in 1988. Came out on 75 Girls Records. And uh, now she's the chef and owner of Kimmy's Kitchen in East Oakland. So, shout out to Kimmy Fresh. Um, all right, and uh, question number seven. What East Oakland rapper is credited with being the first to use the term hyphy in a song? A, B, the Weeda, B, Filthy Rich, C, Tajay, or D, Keek the Sneak? <laughs> all right, answers please. So we have D, Keek the Sneak. Oh, we have D, straight Ds across the board. All right, perfect. That is the answer. Yeah. Yes, D. Keek the Sneak. I don't put that on. That's my. <laughs> Good. Y'all got it. <laughs> you know. All right, perfect. Question number eight. Which rapper from Contra Costa County founded East Coco Records? A. The Jacka, B. Hustler, C. Woody, or D. Young Kurt? Mm. All right, answers, please. So we have A, we have Woody, and we have Woody. All right, I actually see a correct answer up here. There are two correct answers. Answer is C, Woody. Mm -hmm. Yep. And if you didn't know, Woody repped the yak. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Woody. Rest in peace, Woody. All right, it's the the it's interesting up here. You know what I'm saying? We're we're on question number nine, and uh, it's thick. Okay, question number nine. When Kehlani was a teen, who became her mentor after her group Pop Life appeared on America's Got Talent? A, Nick Cannon, B, Usher, C, Dr. Dre, or D, Missy Elliott? Hmm, reveal your answers. Okay, so we have D, Missy Elliott, we have Nick Cannon, and we have Usher. Uh-oh, another one of those. Another one of those. We got different answers up here. I see one correct answer. The answer is A, Nick Cannon. All right. All right. So, yes. The answer is A, Nick Cannon. And Nick Cannon, uh, he was the one that encouraged Kehlani to, like, become a solo artist uh, after he started mentoring her. All right. So, now... We have the last question of the round. Question number 10. What does the FAB and Mr. FAB stand for? <laughs> oh, yeah, no multiple choice on this one. All right, please <laughs> reveal your answers. Okay, I see one answer. Fresh ass bitch. <laughs> Emily, okay. All right. I like that. Okay, DJ Madre, for all ballers, and we have blank. 
It's all right. That's a it's a difficult one. If you didn't know, this that's why we're here. That's why it's question number 10. All right. I see no correct answers. Audience, yell it out. Yeah. For forever after bread, forever after money. All right. Also, fun fact, fun fact, um, yeah, dope era is Mr. Fab's brand, and that also means during oppression, people evolve, everyone rises above. So he's always doing the acronyms. That's his thing. But all right, so we are finished with round one, and the judges have deemed DJ Madre is the win winner of round number one. Give it up for DJ Madre. Give it up for all of our contestants. All right? So, DJ Madre, we will be seeing you at our Hall of Game round. All right, so we'll come back on the Hall of Game round. Contestants, go ahead and take your seats. Appreciate it. All right. We got some stiff competition up here. It's good. All right. Audience, how you feel? How, how are you feeling on the questions? It's good? Yeah? All right, cool. We're going we're gonna to keep it going right along for round two. So for round two, can I get my next con contestants up? Round two, can I get Lavelle? Lavelle's in the house. Wonderful. Can I get Jam One? Jam One, please. And can I get Leland? Is Leland in the house? Leland in the house? Oh, I don't know if we have Leland in the house. Uh, Booth, do we know if Leland? Oh, is this Le Yes. No. Leland? All right. One, two. Not Leland. All right. Okay. So I'm going to call for the next. Let me get Kevin. Is Kevin in the house? Man, Kevin, let's go. Perfect. All right. All right, this is going to be fun. So round two, this is another trivia round. Before we get started, let me uh, say your name, where you're from, and who's your favorite Bay Area rapper. Okay, and use the mics right there. What's happening, everybody? I'm Lavelle from East Palo Alto, and my favorite Bay Area rappers, I'm going to uh, keep it hometown, the Hood Stars. Hey. Okay. Uh, what's up? My name is Jem One from Los Angeles. Uh, favorite Bay Area rapper right now, Larry June, but... I keep it classic E40. Okay. Nice. All right. Kevin. <laughs> I'm from Atwater in the Central Valley, but I live in Fairfield now. And my favorite rapper from the Bay, all time, anywhere, is 40 Water. Dope. All right. I, I, sense, I sense a lot of uh, Bay Area rap knowledge up here. I just sense it. I don't know. Maybe those who say a few words. We'll see. All right. Round two. Right now, the rules for round two are the same as round one. Ten questions, ten seconds to answer, right on your whiteboard, reveal after uh, the time, and yeah. So let's get into it. Uh, which DJ for the San Francisco Giants, or which DJ for the San Francisco Giants was formerly a DJ for the Golden State Warriors? A, DJ D Sharp, B, DJ Umami, C, DJ Fuse, or D, Lady Ryan? All right, reveal your answers, please. All right, so we have... Oh, wow. We can't plan this, people. We can't plan this. this we have three different answers in a perfect row. We have A, <laughs> DJ D-Sharp. We have B, DJ Umami. And we have C, DJ Fuse. There's one correct answer up here. The answer is B, DJ Umami. Oh, yes. So DJ, yes. Congrats. DJ Umami is the current DJ for the Giants. She DJed for the Warriors for the 2020, uh, up to 2021, for sure. All right, question number two. Which Mac Dre album features the hit song, Fizz Dance? No multiple choice on this one. I know, I know, I know. All right, reveal your answers, please. Okay, all right, all right. So this is good. So we have, first answer, we have fizz. Second, we have blank. 
third, we have Ronald Dragon. I see no correct answers up here. <laughs> Audience, does anyone know which Mac Dre album features the hit song, Thiz Dance? Thizzle Washington. Woo, yes, that's correct. Thizzle Washington, 2002. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, all right, for a bonus, show me your, okay, contestants, show me your best Thiz Dance. We'll see if this counts or not. <laughs> All right. All right. That's what's up. You might have redeemed yourself a little bit. <laughs> okay. All right. Question number three. All right. What Bay Area slang expression is derived from the phrase, do you know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Answers, please. Okay. We have yada da. We have yada crossed out yada da mean. And we have yada da. Okay. All three are good. We got it. Because you know. This is, I love it because a slang, slang is something where you can have all three different answers and they can all be correct. You know how we do it in the Bay. All right. <laughs> all right. Question number four. Which Filipino American graffiti artist has an annual celebration in his honor? All right. We reveal your answers, please. All right, almost there. All right, so we have Hyro slash Pilo, or Hyro Pilo. We have Swift Rock, and we have Nope, Nope. All right, I and that's my answer to do I see correct answers? Nope, not up here. All right, audience, does anyone know the answer to this? Dream, yes. The answer is Mike Dream Francisco. All right, from the TDK crew, them damn kids. You know, um, he got he got famous, or he's been famous for a long time, but fixture in the city, fixture in the Bay Area graph scene. All right, rest in peace, Mike Dream. All right, number five. On which 90s cut by E-40 are people saying, riding this way, that away? Is it A, sprinkle me, B, sideways, C, dusted and disgusted, D, Captain save a mm -hmm. Just from my 90s, it's all right. Reveal your answers. Mm, interesting, the plot thickens. All right, so I see two different answers up here. We have C, C, and B. I see a correct answer. Audience, which one is the correct answer? B. Right. The answer is B. Sideways. Right. So sideways, sideways, hey, it's one of the best mob songs ever. But um, E-40 and B Legit, E-40 and B Legit did this song, and it dropped it on uh, E-40's Ma In a Major Way album in 1995. Uh, I'm riding city to city. Me and Leviti. Yeah, okay. All right, oh, we got some heads in here. <laughs> All right, question number six. In 1989, Oakland adopted a widely criticized measure to restrict hip hop culture. What was it? A, ba a, a ban on rap concerts on city property. B, fines for freestyling on corners. C, a moratorium on buying and selling spray paint. D, expensive turntable permits. All right. Okay. All right, contestants, show me your answers, please. Okay. We have three answers, and they are all wrong. All right. Audience, does anyone know what the answer to this is? Ooh, I hear A and D. The answer is A. A ban on rap concerts on city property. So in 1989, there was a ban on rap concerts in the city of Oakland. And in 1990, it was lifted and it was celebrated by Ice, Ice Cube and Too Short 
having a concert at the Henry J, yeah. which is crazy. I wish we still had concerts at the Henry J. It's like the perfect, perfect place. All right. Okay. And question number seven. Murder One Gangsta, Chunk, and them hood stars all from which Bay Area city? Who was paying attention? Hold on. Not, don't reveal yet. Who was paying attention? <laughs> all right. Reveal your answers. Okay. You got two different answers. And then... Ooh, I'm flattered. All right. So, <laughs> we once again... <laughs> We have three different answers. We have EPA, we have Filmo, and we have Alameda. So I'm a, you know, the biggest, the biggest uh, hip hop star from Alameda is standing in front of you right now. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. But uh, uh, so the, that's not the answer. Uh, the correct answer is EPA. Right, East Palo Alto. I guess I was gonna ask, is there anybody in here from EPA? But I already know the answer. Anybody else from EPA here? Okay, it's quiet. Yeah, it's good. We love we love EPA. All right. <laughs> All right. Question number eight: Who is Sway's music? Who is Sway's musical collaborator and formal or former host co-host on the Wake Up Show? A. Chewy Gomez, B. Big Vaughn, C. King Tech, or D. Mind Motion? Ooh, ooh. Dig deep. All right. Reveal your answers, please. Yes. I see straight C's across the board. The answer is King Tech. All right. This is a fierce competition. So, so before Sway was Sway in the morning, Sway, and before he was Sway and got the answers, Sway, Sway was in a rap and DJ duo with King Tech, and they dropped in 1988. They been a fixture ever since all right cool right now this can i just say before i read this this is crazy everybody is neck and neck so we we got only a couple more to go all right question number nine which rapper said to grab the wall in 2013 <laughs> a pilo b i am sue c sage the gemini d love rants all right don't don't reveal yet don't reveal yet after it Okay, reveal your answers. Okay, we have a couple of answers here. We have D, C, and C. I see the correct answer. Audience, which one is the correct answer? C. C, Sage the Gemini. And that was on his hit, Red, red uh, or Gas Pedal. I said Red, or Gas Pedal. That was on his song, Gas Pedal. Um, shout out to Sage the Gemini, shout out to HBK. All right. So we have our final question for the round. Question number 10. Rapper Rocky Rivera started out as a journalist. She won M an MTV reality show to become an editor at which magazine? A, Vibe, B, Spin, C, The Source, or D, Rolling Stone? Hmm. I thought this was going to be just about music. No. <laughs> All right. Reveal your answers. All right. All right. Lavelle, we have B. All right. Let's see. We have A and we have Vibe. Okay. The correct answer is not up here. So, you know, audience, does anyone know what the correct answer is? The answer is D, Rolling Stone. The only, the only one up here that's non mostly urban back then. So, yes. Yeah, so, D Rolling Stone, and um, yeah, it was crazy. There was a whole reality show. It was based in journalism. They were like journalists fighting to compete to, to become the next editor. Um, but but before Rocky Rivera was even on uh, that show, she ran Ruckus Magazine, which is a Bay Area qu uh, magazine, all about Bay culture. Real quick. So it was dope. All right, so we now, judges have told me we have a tie between Jam One and Kevin. All right, so we need to go to sudden death for a tiebreaker. So Lavelle, you can go ahead, take your walk, you know what I'm saying? Give everyone give a shout out to Lavelle. EPA in the house, EPA in the house. 
All right. All right. So we have a tiebreaker question because we only can have one person. All right. <laughs> Booth, let's go. All right. What Bay Area media crew helped Turfing go viral? A, Yak Films. B, the Bay Area Video Coalition. C, Red Bull Academy. D, Rich City Studios. <laughs> Reveal your answers, please. Ooh, so we have two different answers. One correct answer. Who is going to take this? All right. The correct answer for the one contestant who is going to advance to the Hall of Game round is A, Yak Films. All right. Yak Films. All right. Has anybody seen that tur the Turfing in the Rain video? Yeah. That's Yak Films. Classic. All right. All right, audience. How you feeling? Contestants, thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Um, all right, audience, how you feeling? You feeling good? Yeah. Has anybody has anybody gotten all of the answers? All right. No, I didn't think so. I, it's, it's a lot of heads in here, but it's a lot of Bay Area hip hop there. We're not even touching on. All right. Cool. So we are now going to round three. Round three is our audio round. All right. So in this round, we're going to have two parts. We're going to have name this slap and get on the mic. And to do these rounds, I'm gonna have my homie come out here and help me. He's Lakeview legend. He's known for history of the Bay and he's known to get on the mic himself. Give it up for Dregs One. What's up, what's up Frisco? What we doing, man? What we doing, man? Come on, man. Bay Area, KQED. That's my word. Big shout out to all the folks at KQED who put this thing together, man. This is a beautiful event. We talking the Bay Area history that we love to talk, all that culture. If you love being from the Bay Area, make some noise. Yeah. Okay, so like, like my partner Trackademics said, the legendary Trackademics, we gonna go into a, a audio round, okay? So let's bring up our contestants and we're gonna play Name That Slap. Let's get the contestants up here. We got Willie, Antoine, and Ramona. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. What's up, y'all? What's up with my folks? What's up? What's up? What's up? What we doing, man? Good to see you, man. Okay, okay, okay. So, contestant number one, why don't you say your name, what city you're from, and your favorite Bay Area rapper? I'm Willie. I'm uh, from Pinole, El Sobrani. Uh, and it's a toss up between Mac Dre and Andre Nicotina. Ooh, okay. Tale of two Andres. My name is Antoine, aka A Dot Making Cash. Um, I'm from uh, Frisco, California. You know, born and raised, baby. Um, I gotta say, if it ain't Dregs one, um, gotta be the Jacker. That's right. That's right. That's right. I known this young man for many years, man. So but he ain't gonna get no special treatment tonight. I'm Ramona. I'm from Berkeley originally. Um, we <laughs> Um I think my favorite Bay Area rapper is Boots Riley. Ooh, nice choice. I like that. A lot of diversity in, in rap tastes and locations. That's going to piece to Pam the Punctress. That's right. That's right. Purple Pam, man. Favorite DJ. Come on, man. So that's going to serve y'all well for this next round. Name that slap. Okay, so what's going to happen is we're going to play a classic Bay Area slap. When the beat drops, you're gonna hit that burr, 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 the air horn in front of you. If you wanna test it out, go ahead, go ahead. There you go. 
<laughs> First person to hit their horn, I'm going to call it out. And you're going to have to name both the name of the artist and the name of the song to get full credit. If you answer incorrectly or incompletely, another contestant will have a chance to purr, 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 and steal it around, okay? <laughs> contestants, are you ready? Audience, are you ready? <laughs> name that slap. Let's go. <laughs> Willie. Andre Nicotina. Oh, I'm doing it. Oh, uh, I've lost it. Willie, you said that was your favorite rapper, Willie. <laughs> okay. The whole song. Next contestant. Anyone else? On burr, 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 burr. I did it. Oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Andre Nicotina, Smoke Chewy. Sorry. No. Antoine. They did have to work for you. Uh, Andre Nicotina. Uh, do dolphins? Uh, whales? I think you're thinking of Killer Whale, and that is also an incorrect guess. Audience, what's the name of that song? Andre Nicotina? Smoke Dope and Rap. Also would have accepted Dre Dog smoked open rap. Make some noise if you ever smoke some chewy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Woo! Okay, <laughs> let's go on to our next round, our next uh, song. Antoine, with the quickness. Them hood stars, uh, grown man. Grown man, uh, put my grown man on. Okay, I'll accept that, I'll accept that. The, them hood stars. Get my grown man on. Get your grown man on. Shout out to them hood stars, East Palo Alto's finest. Legendary. Okay, okay, we're spreading some points around here. We got some first points on the board. Let's go on to the next track. <laughs> Willie! Funky Expedition. Uh, 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 Conscious Daughters. Funky Expedition. I would have also accepted something to ride to, but Funky Expedition, that's a slap. Produced by Paris, I believe. Legendary, legendary Bay Area artist all around. Good job, Willie. Okay, Ramon, the pressure's on. You gotta get some points on the board, girl. Next track, let's go. Antoine. Uh, the Federation. Uh, uh, Federation. Uh, and my white thing. And my white thing. Uh, a hyphy. Okay, okay. Whoa. Woo. Woo. I might have I might have I might have had to revoke your bay pass if you if didn't get that correct. It would have said Federation uh goes to ghost ride the, no hyphy, hyphy. Okay, good. Shout out to Federation, shout out to Rick Rock. Okay, okay, Antoine is in the lead. This is getting interesting, it's getting saucy. Let's go, let's go. Let's go with the next one. Antoine, once again, come on. Tupac, Brenda's got a baby. That's right, that's right, that's right. It's off the classic album, Tupacalypse Now. Music video filmed in Oakland. Amazing song, powerful, powerful work. Antoine has a strong lead, but it's not over yet. Let's go on to number six. Antoine. Uh, Trunk Boys, Cupcake No Feeling. Hey, Cupcake No Feeling, I ain't got time, I got another one with me. Hey, hey. This man is, somebody's from the Bay up here. I mean, that's all I'm he, He's on top of it. Shout out to the contestants, it ain't over yet, but yes, classic Trunk Boys, Cupcake No Feeling. <laughs> Okay, we got one more, one more song. Try your best, people. <laughs> okay. Yes, no one's getting the point today. Audience. Los Racas. Soy Raka. Shout out to my, all my folks from Panama, man. 
Shout out to my guys, Los Rockers, and my folks, man. Okay, well, we're not over yet. This round has still got some more sounds to play, but we're going to do something a little different. Antoine is still in the lead, but like I said, it's not over. We're, our next section is called Get on the Mic, okay? So now you're actually going to have to do a little bit of rapping. You're going to have to spit some bars. We will play a snippet of a song. When the music stops, you're going to have to finish the line. You're going to have to rap the next line in the song, okay? Everybody gets a turn, and it's worth one point each. Okay, you guys got it? You good? Grab the mic, just make sure the people can hear you. And we're going to start with my guy Willie right here. So let's go, get on the mic. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know how it raps so long. <laughs> hey, I should have sat in your seat. You want to go first? Okay, Willie. Right. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, everybody. It's a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure. You got it? You got it? I'm giving... Go for it, man. Go for it. <laughs> Can't understand how it raps so long. Can't understand how I yeah, so must have superpowers. Yeah, yeah. It's okay, Willie. Good try. Close. Give it up for Willie. Come on, man. It's all fun. It's all fun and games. I'm going to just say we're lucky. You're lucky this is in Frisco, not Oakland. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> okay. Antoine, it's your turn to get on the mic. What do we got for him? So I know, but I'm planning on growing some. Imagine all the Hebrews going up. That's yeah, no yeah, top yeah, 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 going to right, wow. Very well done. Very well done. Masterful. Masterful performance in this round by Antoine. Okay. It's not over yet, though. Everybody gets a chance. Ramona, let's rock out. You know, let's, let's, let's put a point on the board. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, KQED. What we got? I do like this. Look on my face like I smell some piss. Hey! For all of our contestants, y'all, come on, hey! But the winner, just pure domination, very impressive. Antoine, Frisco's finest, baby. Come on, man, real Frisco, man. <laughs> He's gonna advance to the Hall of Game round. Everybody else, thank you for playing. And uh, hey, man, thank y'all for having me. This was my little, my little, little, my little, little thing, thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Support my folks at KQED. Make sure you check me out. Dregs one on all platforms. Have y'all ever seen the, uh, the History Debate podcast? You been checking that out? That's love. That's love. For all you people that ain't seen it yet, go check me out. And uh, I'm going to hand this back over to Chackademics. Thank you, KQED. Thank y'all for coming out. Peace. <laughs> Woo. That was crazy. How y'all doing? Y'all good? Y'all still good? I heard y'all was like, play some music. I was like, I'm gonna leave y'all. They're gonna play some music. All right. <laughs> All right. So we just had our audio round. Next, we're gonna have our video round. All right. All right. So how many, uh, this is for my CMC watchers, you know what I'm saying? All right. So before I, before I start that, for round four, can I get my contestants? So Marcus, come to the stage. All right, Alex, come to the stage. Alex, all right. And Uray, come to the stage. Yeah. All right. Perfect. So, as the contestants are coming to the stage, I'm going to let y'all know this is our video round. So, 
we're going to, the rules for this round, all right, the rules for this round are pretty simple. Almost. Yeah, to come all the way from the back. All right. All right. All right, yeah. All right. All right. Before I go to the rules, contestants, uh, introduce yourselves. Or what city you're from, and who's your favorite Bay Area rapper? Pablo, right here, born and raised, Mr. District, 94110. You feel me? Uri. Uh, shout out, Messy Marv. All right. All right. I'm Alex, and I'm uh, from Santa Cruz, and it, mine would actually be Messy Marv or Turf Talk, but Mess for sure. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm Marcus, originally from the Chicago area. Um, I've been in Oakland for, that's right, uh, I've been in Oakland for 11 years. Uh, favorite Bay Area rapper is Dell. Dope, dope. Okay, we got some diversity all night. I love it. All right, cool. So, round four, our video round. The rules for this round, we're going to play a very short clip. And then, it, as soon as you feel like you know it, hit, hit your buzzer. Um, and we're looking for the artist and the song. Okay? So... You guys ready? It's going to be on both. So, all right. You guys ready? All right. Audience, you ready? All right. Let's do it. Video number one. Woo, okay. I saw the f I saw Uri and Alex. But In too deep? Back yes. To the <laughs> yes. Judges. Uh, yeah. That was, I saw, I saw, <laughs> that was quick. It was quick. You have the right answer. We're going to let it go. All right. In too deep. Back to the hotel. And, all right. Next, next, uh, you know, I'm over here. I was like, they, they're doing lightning rounds. All right. So let's go to question two. That was the correct answer. All right. Shout out to In Too Deep. You know, out of Vallejo, do out of Vallejo. That came out in 92. All right. Back to the hotel. All right, video number two. Okay, let's go, Marcus. That is Oakland 357, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo, judges. Judges. Yes, that answer will be accepted. The correct answer is Oaktown 357, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, they got their start uh, being backup dancers for MC Hammer. That song dropped in 89. All right. Um, all right, and so, oh, contestants, make sure when you talk, pick up your microphone so we can all hear you. All right, so question number three. If you're from the Bay, then yeah, you should know what's these I missed that. Yes, I missed that. Okay, go ahead, Alex. Mm -hmm. Roach gigs. Um, and I forgot the song, but I think it's like I'm Fly or something like that. I forget. Oh, uh, wait, let me not. Think. It's uh, Roach Gigs. It's uh... one more cheers. Mm. <laughs> and. All right, I'll give up. Okay, no correct answer. Any, anybody else want to take that answer? Okay. Okay, another contestant. No one has it? Nobody has it? All right. Looks like no contestants have this. The answer? Anyone in the audience? Yes. The answer is Roach Gigs. Can I rap? Huh? Oh, next answer. Next answer. The answer is Roach Gigs for number number two, uh, Booth. But the answer is Roach Gigs. Can I rap? Or number three. Number three. We gonna get it together. All right. Roach Gigs. Can I rap? And uh, I don't know if y'all peeped in the video. You can tell by the colors what city he's from. Anybody? Yes, he's from Frisco. Shout out to Roach Gigs. All right. Video number four. I see Marcus. Is that uh, Kamaya? How does it feel to be rich? Yes. Yeah. Correct. How does it feel? All right. And fun fact, you know, that's, that's off of her uh, A Good Night in the Ghetto album came out in 2016. I was in the studio for most of that recording because I produced two songs and worked on four. I did Freaky Freaks and I did Come Back. So, yeah, love that. Good time. All right. Video number five. 
be cut off. That don't mean I'm going to stop. All right. All right. Isaiah, Isaiah, five minutes of funk. Judges. Judges. Are we taking? Are we coming? Oh, the judges say no, 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 no. All right. So, other qu uh, anybody else want to take it? They all said it. It's up there. Yeah, it's up there. That's five minutes of Funk Town. So we couldn't accept that one. You know, it's it's close. It's close. Ooh. Judges, they're not liking. They're not liking it. All right. So you can't say, you can't say the Houdini song. You know what I'm saying? I said I asked if it was '80s hip hop heads in here. You know, so y'all know y'all know where he got it from. So no Houdini. You know what I mean? But uh, shout out to Ezel representing representing East Oakland. You know, it's the 10th anniversary of that song. All right. All right. So answer or question number six. Fuck a story arc if it don't involve no matriarch. Some mothers work from the ground up. They craft an air like ATR with the butterfly sleeves. Like a Philippine gun. If I'm not selling them, I'm gonna buy a bala. What my takahu, I bought in my pata, but look my system. I'm gonna put up a pair of a sock. But we put in a heart into darkness. They put in these picks in the office. Or you thinking you're schooling, but you're hella lost. Cause you best see the boss while I top this. But look at my eye, this she moving so cold. Can't hold a calendar, her when she glow. Flick at the wrist with the ilo, she hold. But now go say ilo, she dripping in gold. We pulling up in a genie. All of my Soldiers greet me, hand me bandanas and pull back my hammer. It's warfare when you see me. Skin you alive for my country. I live and die for my country. I kill a pig in a white hooded suit on the low for my country. All right, so we have no takers for this one. Anyone, uh, anyone in the audience want to take a stab? Raging. I heard Ruby Ibarra. That's the correct answer. The answer is not that. The wrong video. So we are having some technical difficulties up there. You had to deal with us for a second. Okay. So we played the wrong video. The answer, I think those two questions are compromised now. But the answer for that video was Ruby Ibarra featuring Rocky Rivera, Classy, and Faith Santania, Us. And that track came out in 2017. And it's crazy. I mean, like, I don't know how many rappers who can seamlessly go back and forth between Tagalog and English, but she the flow without the flow being compromised. It's crazy. All right. So next question. Next vid video. All right. Answer or question number eight. All right. Underground. Uh, ooh, ooh. I think I don't. Coco Pop. Oh, no, Marcus. Digital Underground, kiss you back. Yes. Got it. Woo. That was a tough one. Okay. It's Kiss You Back by Digital Underground, 1991 classic from Digital Underground. Recipe Shock G, Oakland classic. All right. Question video number nine. All right. The pack in my car? Yes. Yes. That is the correct answer. Any Lil B fans in the house? Okay, bass guy. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, we have the last question. So, video number 10. Don't stop, get guap. Ten white toes and them toy flip flops. Marcus. Manicures and pedicures, I'm always dead. That is, um... Sweetie, Audience. sweetie, uh, icy girl. Correct. Correct. Oh. All right, yeah. Uh, a lot of times people debate Sweetie's Bay car, but you know she was raised in Hayward. She was. <laughs> a lot of people uh, debate the Bay car, but she was raised in Hayward, Santa Clara, Sacramento. So definitely Northern California. All right, y'all. The winner of this round is Marcus. All right, I got cheated. All right. Shout out to all the contestants. Marcus, we will see you in the Hall of Game round. Oh, yeah. Actually, actually, this is the Hall of Game round. You are up here. All right. We are almost over. This is, this is flying by. Shout out to our contestants. We made it through. We were flying through some fog, but we made it through. All right. So for the Hall of Game round, 
I'm gonna need to have my contestants come up here. So, can I get DJ Madre? Can I get Kevin and Antoine back up here? And we have Marcus. Woo! All right. All right, we got some fans about you. We we. This is gonna be a stiff round. You know we gotta save the best for last though. Fifth round. All right. So this is our Hall of Game round. You know, Hall of Game means excellence. You know, it's like a museum up here. It's, this is the best of the best, the cream of the crop, right? Uh, contestants, are y'all ready for this round? Y'all yeah. feel good? Do we need a buzzer? Huh? Yeah. Oh, uh, you know what? For this round, we do not need a buzzer. You just need the, the uh, whiteboard. So the rules of this, this game are the same as the first, in, the first and second rounds. You're going to have 10 questions. You're going to uh, have 10 seconds to write down your question, and you're going to reveal at the end of the uh, buzzer, and each question is worth one point. All right? All right. Audience, you ready? Yeah. All right. Cool. Question number one. What word does SMEB derive from according to E40? All right. Answers, please. Woo, okay. So we have mob, we have smack, we have smebin, and we have blank. I see one correct answer up here. And the answer is mob. Kevin got it. Kevin got it. So, yep, that mob. So it's fun fact, 40 had a uh, song called smebin, which is crazy. That's, <laughs> uh, he had a song called smebin. Uh, on his Hall of Game album, which this round is named after. And it goes, it went from mob to like smob to smeb, smebbing. It's a whole, you know, evolution. All right. Uh, question number two. Which Oakland producer's credits include Too Short, Spice One, MC Ant, Dangerous Dame, and Pooh Man? Answers, please. Okay, okay. All right. I see two correct answers up here. Ant Banks. All right, Ant Banks. Before, before Ant Banks worked with the Dangerous Crew and Too Short, he was working with Dangerous Dame and Pooh Man. And uh, as a rapper, he's known as the big ass, or big badass Ant Banks. All right? Cool. Next question. All right, in the 90s, underground hip-hop duo Mystic Journeyman produced their own alternative to KML's annual concert. What was it called? Mm -hmm. mm. All right, answers please. <laughs> All right, this is great. One more answer, so we have we have Nope, we have Rock the Bay, we have Mystic Festival, and we have Journey. I see no correct answers up here. All right, so first off, Cameo's uh, concert was Summer Jam. The answer to this is Broke Ass Summer Jam. <laughs> right, so yeah, the Mystic Journeymen, they hosted a concert every year highlighting alternative and underground artists before they moved back to Southern California. Yeah. All right. Question number four. Oakland singer-songwriter Guapale's name means move forward in the Setswana language. Which country is that language from? Audience. You don't know. All right. Answers, please. Almost there. We have, okay, we have, we have four different answers. We have Ethiopia, we have Botswana, we have Africa. Yes, we have, is that, that South crossed out? We have Africa, and we have Kenya. All right, audience, we have all different answers up here. The correct answer, no one got it. It's actually South Africa. You gotta trust yourself. 
You got to trust yourself. You, you, you got to trust yourself sometimes. You don't want to, you don't want to count yourself out. You got to let them count you out. And also, also, we all know Africa is not a country. <laughs> but I know you got it. It's, it's good. Well, no one got that. So, yes, Guapale's father is actually from South Africa, Douglas Molabani, and he moved here uh, to the Bay Area um, in the opposition of apartheid. So that's a little fun fact. All right. And <laughs> question number five. You know, this is the excellence round. We got to do it. We got to be stringent. All right. Which of these Bay Area turntablists was never a member of the Invisible Scratch Pickles? D a, Disc, B, Flair, C, Quest, D, D, Styles, E, Mix, Master, Mike, F, Apollo. Ooh. All right, answers, please. All right, we have E, Mix, Master, Mike, we have Disc, we have B, which is Flair, and we have Flair again. All right, I actually do not see the answer up here. The answer is C, Quest. Right, we have some turntables here, I can hear it. Uh, Quest, he's actually from, was from uh, El, uh, El Salvador, but uh, moved to the mission and joined the Bulletproof Scratch Hamsters. So yeah. You know, turntable turntablist crews got the craziest names and videos. All right. Uh, question number six. Which former California Music Channel host went on to produce music videos by E-40, Flo Rida, M.I.A., Pitbull, and Consequence? All right. All right. Answers, please. I I see Chewy, 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 Chewy. Chewy yeah, y'all got it. Um, unfortunately, none of these are the answer. It's not. So, does anyone does anyone in the audience know the actual answer? No, I don't hear it. I don't hear it. All right, the actual answer is Andy Kawanami. And so he, yeah, Andy Kawanami, and he's now currently the director of community media at Bayvac, so Bay Area Video Coalition. So shout out to Andy Kawanami. All right. Question number seven. This is, a, this is the round. All right. Oakland aerosol artist Refa One was commissioned by, commissioned by Bart in 2019 to paint a mural of which person? All right, answers please. All right, answers please. We got it. All right, we have Oscar Grant, Shock G, Mac Dre, and nothing. The answer is, there's one answer up here, it's Oscar Grant. All right, cool. Yeah, Oscar Grant's family and the BART director, uh, Latifa Simon, supported the whole project. You know, rest in peace, Oscar Grant. All right, question number eight. Michael Marshall, who sang the hook on Looney's I Got Five on it, began his career in which Berkeley-based group? <laughs> All right, answers, please. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so we have DRS, the song's dedicated to the homies, no. Uh, we have Sad Face, we have Timex Social Club, and we have nothing. The correct answer is Timex Social Club. Social Club. All right. Yeah, Mike Measy, Mike Marshall. He's, yeah, he's from Berkeley. He, he was the lead singer of the Mofessionals. He sang on Rumors. Uh, most recently, if y'all saw The Last Black Man in San Francisco, he was featured in that. So, yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> All right. Question number nine. Jeff Chang, Cheo Hadari Coker, Joseph Jasbo Patel, and DJ Shadow are among the writers who started out in which influential, influential but short lived hip hop zine? SF hip hop zine. 
Mm. All right. Answers, please. Ooh. We have all different answers. So we have 4080. Industry rule number 4080. We have distortion of static. Shout out to distortion of static. We have bomb hip hop magazine, and we have nothing. All right. Does anyone know the answer? It's up here. It's one of them. The correct answer is bomb hip hop. The bomb. Right? And so bomb hip hop was also a record label. And and they dropped uh, DJ compilations called Return of the DJ. It was crazy. All right. All right. So question 10. We This is crazy. We are actually neck and neck. Kevin and Marcus are neck and neck right now. All right. So we, we only got another uh, quick question left. So which of these turntablist techniques was not invented by a Bay Area, Bay Area DJ? The crab? The tweaker, the flare, the chirp, the hamster, the orbit. Hmm. I hear my turntablist in the house. All right. Answers, please. All right. Cool. So we have A. We have A the crab. We have the tweaker. We have E the hamster. And we have F, uh, what is it? The chirp. Okay, D the chirp. The correct answer is the chirp. Yeah. Woo. Yay, you got on the board. You got on the board, Antoine. All right. Cool. So, yeah. That was a crazy one. So, so we, we have a tiebreaker now. So the question number eleven, I got I got grapes. Hitmaker Nump started his career as a recording engineer. Name three artists he's worked with. Okay. Hard at work. <laughs> this is our last question. DJ Badrett. <laughs> All right. Okay, time's up. Reveal your answers. Ooh, there is a lot of answers. Ooh. You know what? Okay. So this question was worth 3 points. I got I got to I got to get some help on this. Can I bring my homie Nump to the stage, please? Let him know what it is. Hey, 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 hey. Uli uli Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, baby? That's my word. All right, Nump. Man. Now, you heard the question. Who have you worked with as an engineer? And see, so, go through this. One, two, three. That's all correct. Ooh. Mac Dre, Messi, Marv, J, T, all correct. How you Ooh. doing? Mac Dre, Mac, Keith, all correct. E4, oh. TZ, and Mr. FAB, all correct. So we got. Oh, wow. Okay, guy. judges. Y'all know too much. Woo! Where'd you find these people? Jeopardy? Right. So, judges, it looks like... Thank you, Nump. Yeah. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, judges, it looks like we have a tie. Um, we can't have that. You know, someone's got to win. So, we got a tiebreaker question between Kevin and Marcus. All right. Give it up to DJ Madre and Antoine. Y'all can go ahead and take your seats. <laughs> All right, we are going to have a battle of the minds. You got a question? Oh, okay. Oh, so I, I hear some inside information. They were teammates before. Okay. So we got a little inside edge over here. All right, this is sudden death. So it's the first, first to get this, first to get the answer. All right. Audience, y'all ready? All right. Um. This one, this question, no, it's a whiteboard question. It's a whiteboard. Okay. Love Rance's 2011 hit, Up, got a remix featuring which major artist? A, 50 Cent, B, Wiz Khalifa, C, Big Sean, D, French Montana. Yeah, first one to respond. Oh, go ahead. A. The answer is A. 
50 Cent. <laughs> he got it. Marcus is the winner. Oh, snap. All right, y'all. So before we finish up, I would like to get, give a shout out to all of the contestants. Before we get out of here, I'm gonna need everybody to come up close. Go ahead, take your seat. We're not over with yet though. Before, uh, before y'all leave, I'm gonna need everyone to get up out their seats because we got my man Nump gonna do a song for y'all. Do a couple songs for y'all, all right? Come up, don't be shy. Where's my, where's my man Nump? We're gonna give out prizes afterwards, all right? Give it up for the Gorilla Pino. Nump, let's go. Don't be shy. You know, my name's Tracking yes, Image. Y'all yeah, gotta come to the front of the class. I know that. Everybody been blowing yeah. my phone up right now since it's dropped. That's why they wanna hear the new music. I mean, it's gonna pop up, man. It's been, you know, it's been crazy right now. A lot of stuff going on. We got the store opening up. It's mainly right now. I ain't gonna be able to. I can't even do it. I got my phone. All the phones jumping right now. Someone get the phone, man. Hey. Check, check, someone check. at the door? Who at the door? Hey, real talk, man. I, I got like all these phones jumping off the line. We gonna get to it when I get to it, man. Like I said, the grit don't quit. I gotta count all this bread. All I've been doing is count bread. Someone need to pick up these phones. Yeah, yeah, hold on real quick. Hey, someone get the phone. Daddy's on the phone making money so he can buy toys. Yeah, that's right, that's right. We're gonna get the bag, son. Where all my party people at? Y'all make some noise. I want you to know that these are the boys. Come on, clap your hands, everybody. I said clap your hands, everybody. I got my brother B3 real quick to lay it up for y'all, man. Bay Area, where you at, y'all? Come on. Yeah. Y'all feeling good tonight? Now we gonna show you what it is, Bay Area. B3, what's good with you, baby? What's happening, brother? Man, we just gonna show them how it is, man. Put the paint where it ain't, as long as the outcome is in good. Already know. Let's go. Mark of the beast. Yeah. Lines never tame. Jungle start calling. Answers never change. Fascinated with balling. Corruption is fatal. Find a lot of paper. I'm really a staple. Put it all together. Making it happen. Finally, we fall. That's the reaction. Defiant of all. Such an attraction. Blowing on Kush. Always be gassing. Up Come on the pavement. Ducking and dodging. Root of all evil. Got everyone calling. Play as a team. Run with a squadron. Balling in the game. I'm really a spalding. That's right. These are the breaks. Different roads that it takes. These and the stakes. Many faces people make. Feed on all the hate. Stomach still growling. Wolf showing teeth. Not one of them smiling. These are, 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 these are the braids. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. These are, 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 these are the braids. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Tell a brother. Picking up the pieces, fell into the deepest. Price went up, still got the cheapest. Throw my last buck, still got them sneakers. Down on my luck, now I charge for a feature. Ups and downs, weather the storm. The loud buzzing like I'm bringing a swarm. Heads in the clouds, not looking below. Don't let it drag you down, say it ain't so. Emotions running wild, out of control. People looked out, blessed that I know. Can't rest up, the grind is forever. Yeah, Don't let your guard shit, down. Be coming to tell you, that's what they tell you. Ain't doing it right. I slide cold like I'm moving on ice. That's what we doing. Never fold. Yeah, we need to hear that play. shit. Come on. Stay solid. Put your hands up. Come on, y'all. Hey, these are, 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 these are the brains. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. These are, 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 Got it cracking with me, you feel me? But I also gotta bring my little brother out here. Boots, so where you at, baby? Yams, where you at? Yams, yeah, come on out, brother. And we gotta, hey, this is the trivia song. 
So you might know this sample. But if you know this sample, I want y'all to sing along like this. Yeah. I'm solid. I might speak to God. With the Spanish Charlotte. I'm solid. Who that is? Speak to God. That's a Mac name drag. What? Solid. I might speak to God. You got any Filipinos in the house? Y'all fuck I'm solid. I might speak to God. Get the yeah, come on. Said I'm from the island, so I speak the gallo. Get the beat in the mix like halo, halo. Hey. Hey. Nung niya paano sila salo, salo. Mga taga barrio kami ang panalo. Hey. Hey. Ano ba talaga ang inaantay nyo? Dahil na hinahawa ka, pinapatay ko. Kalagati at maskos, pinagsabay ko. Ay Oy. kayo, dak-dak, pinapatak ko. Kaso ka pong gabi, pero gawa sa Pilipinas. Sa akin, stilo nakakahilo pag nagpakitang gila. So, oh. matik na sa matik, di ka na makakahilo. Iwas na po the dome granny and my daddy on seat What's up right now? Rockin' body ticket with my kuyas What? And hunkin' body droppin' mama singin' hallelujah Dirty how I do you katawan na sa basura Yun ang aking papangako sa lahat ng nagtutura I might speak to Gala With the Spanish child of I'm solid I might speak to Gala What? 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 What he say now? That I'm solid I might speak to Gala With the Spanish child I'm solid I might speak to Gala Thank you, Edie. Make some fucking noise. Yeah. Yes, sir. This is my little bro right here. I'm solid. I met I'm this like motherfucker when he was 16. Come on. I was like, I see it in him, man. And you know the quick no quick, y'all. Type your hands for my brothers real quick. Yeah, appreciate y'all. Let's get it. But appreciate I got some trivia for y'all. Does anyone know what nationality mm -hmm. I am? Who know what nationality I am? What'd you say? Who knows what nationality I am? What? Yeah. Hey, wave your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. Let's go. And if you love Filipino like I love Filipino, somebody say, it. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. I'm so Filipino. They're right. The and my family raised me. So hold my culture down, baby. Come on, talk to him about it. Come on. Culture, three stars in the sun. I'm Philippines. Spin it from the top of your lungs. It's like you uh -huh. love it. You know we all in the public now. Thanks to Nump Trump and Manny Pacquiao. When I was raised to appreciate. Thanks to my grandma, yeah, my Lola. I'm forever great. Cause, Cause she, she made, made us that way. way. Yeah. That's my cousin. My grandpa made me a man. Gave me my first job. Crushing them cans. And even though he fired me, he had taught me a lesson. Every right. Sunday we go to church and count this blessing. Right. We all eat together. Food is important. Rice with a double either chicken or pork. And we always oh. eat meals with a spoon and a fork. That's how it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm so Filipino. Filipino. I'm so Filipino. My roots flow through the ground. Hey, come on. Family raised me. That's how I feel, baby. I feel like this. That's what I am, that's what I is, that's what I be. Represented with my whole community. Filipino pride, let's sing in unity. That's what I am, that's what I is, that's what I be. Represented with my whole community. Filipino pride, let's sing in unity. Come on. Family raised me to hold my culture down. Hey, I'm so Filipino. Hey, you know what it is, KQED. And y'all know I had to use KQED, the platform to represent my Gorilla Pino, my culture. My master, baby. Come on. Hey, when I say KQ, you say K. What's up, y'all? Hold on, hold on, man. 
Hey man, quick intermission before we really get all the way turned the fuck out, right? You know how to shout all my Filipinos, my Gorilla Pinos in this thing, right? And did you know, Filipinos is funny, y'all. I actually got a funny joke for y'all. There was three bears that were driving in one car, right? And they, and they, and they crashed. They crashed into a lake. Three of them. But which one of those bears did not get wet? Anyone know? The dry bear. <laughs> Y'all get it? But which one of them didn't which one of them didn't even didn't even get hurt and just left the just left and just dipped, huh? Who, who knows that one? The survive bear. <laughs> but who fixed the car, y'all? Who fixed the car? McGuy Bear! <laughs> Hey man, y'all ready to get turned the fuck up, y'all? Can I get a oh yeah? Let me hear you say, hey yo, hey yo, say, hey yo. I need a costume change. What? What? Like, hey yo, like, hey yo, like, hey yo, like, hey yo. Like, hey, yo. Like, hey, yo. Like, hey, yo. a million, man. He on the hook with me on this shit, man. Listen, hey, I wake up early in the morning. Right. Hit the snooze button, pull the sheets up on my head Cause I'm hung over with her hand on my boner Like, what? Drunk what? with a house, what? Like, what? Like, hey, yo What'd you say? Like, hey, yo Sarah. Like, hey, yo Like, hey, yo And hey, we gon' get the party going <laughs> What is when that? I say I got, you say Graves. I got Graves. I got Graves. When I say I got, you say Graves. I got Graves. I got Graves. Pull up to the script in a circle. Here's the pop. Run time. Trying to see who got purple. Who got purple? I got Graves. Who got purple? I got Graves. Turn the scraper in the circle, in the block, run time, trying to see who got it. Yeah, who got purple? I got gray. Who got purple? I got gray. Tell him. Yo, you got what I need a three for twat. Right. And if not, you ain't the only one on the block. Right. From black off to the black top. We all want that cannabis club price half off on sneakers. All mamas, I need that jug. All mamas don't sell me wood. I promise you. All everything I love, this shit is rare. Look at all those crystals and purple hair. Hey, I need a full piece of the blue wood. I'm going to Fobie's Club, you know I do some. Fresh stuff with seven sprays and a smell right. I love the smell of white girls. I'm, I'm up, up all, all night. night. Right. That's a fucking bill to me, folks. Come on, come on. You not gorilla pedo, do Get back to the turf. That's it, all we scrape, scrape. We love your but We love the taste yeah. of the grass. Yeah. Cool up, turn ah, ah, who got purple? I got grass. Who got purple? I got Let's go. Oh, oh. We smoke better than you. We smoke better than you. We smoke better than who? We smoke better than you. Jump, 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 jump. Wanna do the right? Check it out. Hey, wave your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. And if you get high like I get high, somebody say. Mr. Chay Pie, we don't need no alibi, we hella fly. White girl wasted, hella high. And if she 19, I might bump a chick from City Nights. But she gotta have way more than 50 likes. I'm getting money like 60 likes. Skittles in the remedy, and they some fucking Hennessy. Don't you can't manage my energy. And I still go crazy, that's even when I'm lazy. But I never seem to trip off a bitch. I just wanna get rich and get lit. Hey, boys, ain't cush up, I'm trying to get ripped. Yeah, I got the hook up 200 for the shit. Oh, boy. It's lit. A lot of my people roll trees. What else you got? A lot what? of my people's been dead. Okay, that's what you do. We party if it's 420 friends. This is what we do, y'all. And this is all we did. Hey! We, we smoke, smoke better than you. you. We smoke better than 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 you. Smoke better than you. Smoke better than you. Yeah. What it do? Bro. Right? Bro. You're my bro. 
bro. Oh. Do you get smoke weed too, bro? Bro. You do, bro? Oh. Do you smoke? I, I, like, I know we just met. I know met, we just met, but, but you're, you're like, like my bro. bro. My bro. My bro. My bro. My bro. My bro. You're like my bro. You're like my bro. Check it out. Let's make a toast. Totes. You're like my bro. You're so fucking cool. Let's do some hoes. Pound some brews. Hit the road. Smoke some joe. You can have sex with my ex. She's all good to go. High five. Bro, I know we my just bro. Met, but like DJ Khaled say, we the best. Where my bros at? On IG Live, doing dabs. Barstool Sports, can I get a follow? We can talk about anything. Podcast. Where my bros at? Hey, where my bros at? Where you at? Where my bros at? Okay, when I say bro, you say bro. Bro, 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 bro. Bro, my bro, I need your keys to do my blow. I don't got cheese, but I got trees. Sticky, icky, stuck on my cuticle. Like flaming hot Cheetos, chewing off shrooms, sipping tan pico. Got a vacuum sucking on my torpedo. Feeling cool like ranch, Dorito. My bro, I just popped a Tesla. Robbing a Tesla with Vanessa and Jessica. Playing Tug Twister. And yes, bro, they're twin sisters. Bro, when I say bro, you say bro. Bro, 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 jump, jump, jump. Where my bros right here, bro. Where my bros right here, bro. Where my bros right here, bro. Where my bros. Check us out. Justin tries with my bro. Getting really high with my bro. Go to Coachella with my bro. Going dumb like tell me where to go. Justin tries with my bro. Getting really high with my bro. Go to Coachella with my bro. Go with Dom Black. Tell me where to go. KQED, I know we just met. You're like my fucking bro. Hey man, what's up, y'all? Thank you so much, KQED. That's my motherfucking word. This was the best crowd I've seen in all of motherfucking December, man. So, hey, round of applause. I'm very thankful and grateful to have y'all up in this bitch. And you know what it is, man. I'm not trying to gorilla pedo pop. Here to give all y'all hope. Who's gonna smoke? Let's go. Hey, what up, y'all? Give it up for Nump. Hey, if you hey, tag me in all your shit, cause this is my first. I never did a costume change. <laughs> oh, this is legendary shit, y'all. I popped right, that sir. cherry, man. All right, y'all. Can I get my contestants from the Hall of Game round back up on the stage? Yeah. Give it up for Nump. Give it up for yourselves too. It's been an amazing audience. But like, yeah, last one round. My last four contestants. All right, cool. We have one more. Yeah, there is. Oh, we left. Okay. Okay. So, our three remaining contestants. Give a shout out to all the contestants. All right. So, so fourth place we had DJ Madre, who's not here. Give it up for DJ Madre. All right. Third place we have Antoine. All right. Yeah. And Antoine, you are getting your fifty-dollar Amoeba gift certificate. All right. In second place we had Kevin. All right. You're getting your $50 Amoeba gift certificate. And for tonight, our grand prize winner, we got our man Marcus. All right, and you got a $100 Amoeba gift certificate. All right, thank y'all for playing with us. Audience, thank you for coming out tonight. Thank, uh, you. thank you. For more Bay Area hip hop information, you can go to bayareahiphop.com, check out KQED. And uh, you don't have to go home, but you got to get up out of here. Good night, everybody. Yeah. Who, won, who won the thing? Hey, uh, UD, I got the prize. Also, I got a grand prize for this grand prize winner, Nums Lumpia. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be rap without the plug. Oh. Hold on, let's get... <laughs>